Today, I am going to discuss about concept of CRR, bank rate, repo rate, reverse repo rate and SLR. So welcome to my YouTube channel, Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's start with the first point, concept of different bank rate. As of 18th December 2020, the key indicators are CRR, SLR, base rate, reverse repo rate and repo rate. So here you can see CRR is 3%, SLR is 18.50%, base rate is 8.5%, reverse repo rate is 3.35% and repo rate is 4.0%. So here you can see tools of the monetary policy and these all types of the tools of the monetary policy already we have discussed in the previous video. So if you want to see in detail then you can refer my earlier video about tools of monetary policy. So here our focus is on these five different terminology CRR, SLR, bank rate, repo rate and reverse repo rate. So let's start. First one, CRR that means cash reserve ratio. Banks have to keep a certain minimum percentage of their total deposits and you know that total deposit that means demand deposit plus time deposits with the RBI in the form of cash that minimum percentage is called CRR. That means the certain minimum percentage banks have to keep in RBI is called as CRR. An increase in CRR makes it mandatory for banks to hold a large portion of their deposits with the RBI. So if the CRR is increased, means banks has to hold large portion of their deposits that is actually in terms of demand deposits and time deposits with the RBI. Therefore, it reduces the deposit available for credit. So definitely you can understand because of the majority of the portion is actually reserved in the RBI and they lend less which affect their profitability and also reduces the money supply in economy. The main aim of CRR is to avoid any kind of shortage of money in meeting the demand of money of depositors. So as of 18th December 2020, the CRR in India is 3.0%. Now, let's try to understand from this figure what is exactly cash reserve ratio and here assume the CRR is 3%. So if the customer deposit $1,000 in the bank, then 3% of this $1,000 that means $30 maintained by the bank in the RBI. So 3% of $1,000 that means $30 should be maintained by any bank in the RBI that is called as the cash reserve ratio. So here $30 is reserve in the Reserve Bank of India. So the bank can use $1000 minus $30 only to give the credit to the borrower. Now next one SLR that means statutory liquidity ratio. All banks are required to maintain a minimum percentage of their total deposits as liquid assets in form of cash, gold or securities with themselves beside CRR is known as SLR. So this is also the minimum percentage of their total deposit but there is in the form of liquid assets like as cash, gold or other securities. Beside of this CRR is known as SLR. A change in SLR has the same effect on volume of credit as in case of change in CRR. In India, RBI has continuously increased SLR 
from 25% in 1970 to 38.5% in 1991. However, this SLR has been reduced to 30% on additional deposits in 1992. Now the rate of SLR is 18.5% for the commercial bank. So initially this SLR is increased from 25% to 38.5% in 1991. So this SLR is highest in 1991 as 38.5%. Then it is gradually reduced and now it is 18.5% for the commercial banks. SLR as on 18th December 2020 is 18.50%. Now try to understand from this figure. If the total deposit is 1000 rupees, then bank has to maintain minimum percentage of this total deposit in the RBI in the form of the gold, cash or other securities. Here you can see if the SLR is 20%, means 20% of this 1000 rupees. So you can understand is 200 rupees. So bank has to keep 200 rupees in the RBI in the form of cash, gold or other securities other than CRR that is called as SLR. Now try to understand CRR plus SLR. So parallelly, what is the effect of CRR and SLR on the bank? So here you can see the total deposit is 1000 rupees. Here you can see CRR rate is 6%. So the 6% of this 1000 deposit that means 60 rupees. So 60 rupees is considered as a CRR. Now here you can see SLR as 20%. So 20% of this 1000 deposit that means 200 rupees. So this amount should be reserved in the RBI by the bank. So out of this 1000, only bank can use 740 rupees to distribute in the form of loan. So this is the another example to understand parallelly CRR and SLR. Next one, bank rate. Bank rate is the minimum rate at which RBI lends money to the commercial banks. An increase in bank rate is likely to increase all other market rates. When the central bank finds that inflation has been increasing continuously, it raises the bank rate. So borrowing from the central bank becomes costly and commercial banks borrow less money from RBI. So it is very simple. If the inflation rate is high, then definitely central bank raises the bank rate so that the borrowing from the central bank becomes costly. So automatically the liquidity of money is controlled in the market. Here you can see bank rate as of 18th December 2020 is 4.25%. From this figure, you can understand exactly the concept of bank rate. Here you can see central bank having bank rate as 10%. So all the domestic banks can borrow the money from the central bank with 10%. And the bank can lend to the people more than 10%. And that is the profit of the bank. Here you can see 11%, 10.5%, 11.5%. 10.5%. So these are the different bank rates for the people. Now, next one, repo rate. It is the rate at which RBI allows temporary loan facilities to commercial banks against government securities on the condition that the bank will repurchase the securities within a short period. So repo rate is the rate at which the central bank of the country lends money to the commercial banks in the event of any shortfall of funds. So very simple repo rate is the rate 
at which the central bank of a country lends money to the commercial banks and that is especially in the event of any shortfall of the funds in the bank when dealing with bank rates no collateral is required to be provided when dealing with repo rates on the other hand the loan is granted only when collateral that means asset that a lender accept as security for loan is provided so keep in mind that if we are talking about only bank rates no collateral is required whereas in case of repo rates the collateral must be required for the loan here you can see repo rate is 4% as on 18th december 2020 from this figure you can understand exactly the meaning of a repo rate so try to understand so rbi gives the loan to the bank instead of that bank has to pay the interest that is called as repo rate and if the people deposit the money to the bank then bank has to give the interest to the depositors so this means repo rate is another cost to the bank because of he has to give the interest to the rbi for taking loan they pay interest to the depositors and also to the rbi so here you can see bank has to pay the interest to the people as well as to the rbi but whatever it may be the interest to the rbi that is called as the repo rate now next one reverse repo rate it is the reverse of repo rate that means this is the rate rbi pays to the banks in order to keep additional funds in rbi so it is very important term if there is a surplus fund to any bank then the bank can keep these additional funds in rbi and instead of that rbi pays the rate that is called as the repo rate so here you can see if rbi gives the money to the bank in the form of liquidity then it is called as the repo rate and here it is the reverse case banks having surplus liquidity then they can put in the rbi then it is called as the reverse repo rate it's the rate at which the banks park surplus funds with the reserve bank so if there is a more or surplus fund with the bank then bank can park the surplus funds to the rbi and instead of that rbi pays the interest to the bank that is called as the reverse repo rate while the repo rate is the rate at which the banks borrow from the central banks so keep in mind if the bank borrow from the rbi then it is called as the repo rate simply it is mostly done when there is surplus liquidity in the market by the central bank here you can see reverse repo rate is 3.35% as of 18th december 2020 this is also very important figure to understand the concept of the reverse repo rate so here you can see bank can give the money to the borrower with the interest of 8.3% in the form of home loan apart from this if the bank having surplus fund then the bank can deposit that surplus fund to the rbi in the form of deposit and instead of that rbi can pay to the bank with the interest of 3.35% that is called as the reverse repo rate so reverse repo rate is always less than a repo rate if you have any doubt or question then you can write on the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it